What's up good people, Vlad here, hope you're all good. I got here something interesting, this is a whole PC, yeah, and it's pretty good machine for its size, so let me show you what's in the box. So upon the unboxing you are greeted with a thank you card, which is a nice gesture by the company. And here is the Mini Air 11 itself in a protective cover of course. Basically this tiny device is the whole fully functional computer. You will get this carrying or protective pouch as well in the box, power brick and cable, 2 meters of HDMI cable and an adapter, mini DP2 HDMI cable and of course screws and visa mount adapter so you can hide this little guy behind your monitor making it an all-in-one system. Of course you will get a manual which explains how you can open it so you can add more RAM or change the M.2 drive. I wasn't kidding when I said that this is a fully functional PC. To be honest, you are getting some things that most desktop PCs are lacking. In the heart of this PC is the Intel 11 Gen Celeron N5095. This is a 4-core CPU with no hyper-threading capabilities. It has an Intel UHD integrated graphics card, which is enough to display 4K output. And you also have a dual display capability as well. It has 8 gigabits of RAM, which is enough for everyday tasks like office work, browsing the internet, watching YouTube and various streaming services. It also comes with a 256 gigabytes M.2 SSD. It has Wi-Fi 5, both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands are covered and Bluetooth 4.2 as well. So this gives you the possibility to connect various wireless devices, keyboards, mice, gamepads, headphones and so on. And on top of that, you are getting Windows 11 out of the box. For how much you ask? For 239 US dollars. So as I mentioned, this is a office machine and it will be more than enough for those tasks because this is by no means a performance machine. This machine is built with a purpose to remove desk clutter and replace your aging PC to something more modern if you do not require more computing power. But it gets the job done, it can serve as a desktop replacement, an ideal HTPC machine, heck I am using it on my TV right now like that HTPC machine, you can install something like Plex or Kodi and have one amazing media machine at the palm of your hand. And yes, it's super small, 11.5 by 11.5 by 3.4 centimeters tall. Ports on this device are also great, on the left side there is an SD card reader, on the front from left to right the USB-C port limited to 5 gigabits per second, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port 10 gigabits per second, headphone mic combo jack and a power button. Backside hides all the goodies as well, power brick connector, mini display port, 1 gigabit LAN port, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, 5 gigabits per second each, USB type C and this time it's 10 gigabits per second and an HDMI port. Since we have two options for displays here this means that you can connect two monitors here and run them together. Right side of the device has a Kensington lock. Let me show you how easy it is to open it if you want to swap an M.2 drive or to add or change RAM. There are four screws underneath it. They are all captive, so unscrew them until they just pop out and pull the cover. Swapping the M.2 drive is easy as you would do it on a desktop machine. Remove a screw and install a better and larger one if you wish. RAM can be added, it uses standard SODIMM DDR4 modules, the one it comes with is 8GB and clocked at 266MHz. During work the Geekcom Mini Air 11 is super silent, it does come with a fan which is not loud at all, you will notice it only and only if you push the machine a little bit. But even then the noise output is totally acceptable. There are vent intake ports on the sides which are perforated so they act as a dust filter and it exhausts hot air at the back. You can access the fan for cleaning purposes by removing the top cover. Let's talk about performance. Working with office apps it's ok but if you stumble upon a larger spreadsheet document, I mean a bit more complex, it can struggle a little bit, it will get the job done in the end. Watching 4K videos on YouTube, no issues, no drop frames, streaming from HBO Max or Netflix, no issues at all, working like it should. So watching 4K 120 megabit H.265 local files, for example my videos when I make them, literally zero issues, zero drop frames, no lagging. So I can pretty much say that for everyday tasks and beyond that this little machine can be used as a streaming box, local media center and more. Of course you can game here but... 
do not expect some crazy performance because it has the integrated graphics in the end. I mean, you can play some older games at lower resolution and lower details, but that is about it. It was not intended for that anyway. Having 8GB of RAM might have its issues regarding performance, but you can easily upgrade this down the road. Regarding the included M.2 SSD, this will be enough for most people, but it is not a speed champion. I highly recommend upgrading this NVMe drive, because drives are getting cheaper now, so just bear in mind that you would have to install Windows 11 again if you do that. Take a look at some results in various benchmark tests. All in all, this is a great device, targeted towards people who do not need extreme computing power. This is a perfect replacement for that living room PC and you can also use it as a fully capable media center PC. And if you own AV receiver, for example, you can output uncompressed Dolby and DTS stream directly to it. For the price of only 239 US dollars, I would say that this device ticks all the boxes an entry-level mini PC can offer. It is extremely affordable and with OK performance for that price. You will have more than enough ports available, SD card reader and you can add more RAM or upgrade storage if you want to. On top of that, it comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, so you are getting an OS included in the price as well. Just remember that this is not a machine for heavy tasks, it will fail in that regard, but for the majority of people with basic office and internet browsing needs, this would be an ideal choice. Thanks for watching guys, please check out the Geekcom sale, there are great deals for you, I will leave a link in the description. Sub to the channel, like and share the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.